Hi, I want to show you how to do question number 36 from your textbook coming from chapter 3 and this is for my MAT 237 class. The question in the book and also on WebAssign states it as let X be the damage incurred in, uh, in money in a certain type of accident during a given year. So we could have an accident where there is zero dollars worth of damage so maybe it just barely two cars barely touched each other or, uh, a car bumped into a wall or something and there really was no damage at all or a thousand dollars worth of damage in an accident or five thousand or even up to ten thousand dollars worth of damages they also gave you a probability of a damage occurring so the probability that uh, you have an accident where zero damages occur uh, I think the book uses point eighty so it's an eighty percent chance that uh, zero damages occur. That also could be the case, zero damages, where there is no accident at all. Uh, let's see, the probability of an accident where $1,000 worth of damages occurs, uh, I think the book uses 10%. For 5,000 it uses 8%. And for 10,000 it used uh, 2%. So it also has several different policies. According to WebAssign they have variations here. Uh, let's say that we have a $200 deductible. Right? These are deductibles. Um, $200 deductible, and the premium for that, that's how much money you'll pay out per year, was, I think the book uses, or, or WebAssign does, $800 premium. Um, it also has a couple of other plans where you could have a $500 deductible, and in case you're wondering what a deductible is, we'll give that a premium of $690. Deductible simply means if there is an accident, that's how much money you, the policy owner, will have to pay per accident. So on top of the premium that you pay for the year, that's the premium is how much you give the insurance company per year just for having the policy. But if there's an accident, you, the user, has to pay out uh, 200 or 500, or I think they also had a deductible of a thousand. So what I'm going to do then is, and that premium there, I think. I'll just grab that from WebAssign with $600. So what I'm going to do here real quickly is this. I'm going to try to figure out what the profit is on each of these policies for the insurance company. Let's take a look at that first policy there where it's a $800 premium, $200 deductible. And the, the, the generic formula that I'm going to use over and over again is simply this. We're going to take the amount of damage in the accident minus the deductible, that's how much we're going to pay out of our pocket, out of our pocket. and we're going to multiply that by the probability of the damage occurring. Now that's this column here, my P of X. So we're going to call it uh, P of X here, the probability that that damage occurs. And then what I'm going to do with all of this is I'm going to get a total here, a total amount, and sum them all up, and that's going to be the, the total amount of money that the insurance company potentially would have to pay out per this policy. So here, let me do this real quick. Um, the insurance company would not, would not have to pay any damages um, for an accident, um, you know, like uh, just a small little fender bender or something like that, just a bump um, and nothing occurs. So I'm not even going to bother doing this, this case here, but let's start with the $1,000 worth of damage minus the $200 deductible. Again, I'm looking at just this case right here. So minus the $200 worth of deductible. That's what's going to come out of our pocket. And the probability of this $1,000 accident happening is 10%. So if I multiply 10% times, let's see, this is 800 here, I'll get $80. Uh, let's see, if we had a $5,000 accident minus my deductible of 200 and the probability of a 5000 accident occurring is 8%. That would give me, let's see, 4,800 times 0 .08. Uh, let's see, a total of $384. And let's look at the last case. What if we had a $10,000 accident? $10,000 accident minus our deductible of 200. And the probability of that occurring was 0 0.02 or 2%. Let's see, that comes out to be $196. Okay, so if I add all three of these numbers together here, you'll see that I get a total of $660. And this number right here represents the total cost 
to the insurance company for these potential damages at a $200 deductible. Now, keep in mind that at the beginning of the year, let's slide this over so you can see this a little bit better. At the beginning of the year, for one entire year, I, as the user, paid $800 for this policy. This is how much money the insurance company would have to pay out if there was an accident. And you can see then that they, may con they will make, on average, a profit of $140 for that first policy right there. So their profit is $140 for that first policy right there. I could do the same thing for the $500 deductible. I could do the same thing for the $1,000 deductible. Keep in mind that this number here represents right, the total cost to the insurance company for, the, you know, for potential damages. Um, and I have to take that number away from whatever the user, whatever the insurer, uh, has paid per year for that premium. So you will see then, real quickly, I'll just work out the math here for you, show you the numbers. I worked them out already. That at a $500 deductible, and I would replace all of these numbers here with 500. These don't change. The probabilities don't change. And I would come up with some new totals over here that I could sum together you'll see that that comes out to be for a five hundred dollar uh, deductible a total of six hundred dollars I'll take that away from six ninety and I'll get a ninety dollar profit for the company here ninety dollar profit I could do the same thing for the one thousand dollar policy replace all these deductibles with a thousand come up with some new values sum them up and you'll see that if I, I did that already as well, you'll see that I come up with a, a total of 500. Now, how much was the premium for that policy? It was 600. And so you can see that 600 minus 500 is only a $100 profit. <clears throat> the insurance company really wants to sell this policy right here. They really want to sell the $200 deductible at $800 premium policy because look it gains the most profit out of these three numbers for them out of 140 90 and 100 this top policy right here is the best one for the insurance company okay hope you can see that there um, and that should cover question number 36